Fighting is a skill. It can be learned. And you can learn it online. You are living in a violent world. It's your duty as a man to defend and protect. Join the most complete fighting school on earth to learn it. Guided step-by-step -step boxing and Muay Thai courses. Professional video analysis from five expert coaches. Supportive brotherhood with the same goals. Monthly challenges to win prizes. The Fight Gecko Combat Club. www.fightgecko.com Ladies and gentlemen, assalamualaikum and good evening for those of you joining us here live around the world where we continue the action here at the agenda for EMD Fight Night number seven. Your next bout for the evening is proudly brought to you by Fight Gecko, officially sanctioned for four three-minute rounds of action, an immense professional middleweight boxing division. As always, joining me first in the center of the ring, your referee in charge of the action, the man by the bell, representing the MEPB by way of Belarus with referee Andre Shevalov. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together as he makes his ring walk first, fighting out of the red corner, representing the Czech Republic, is Pavel! Please help me welcome his opponent into the center of the ring as he fights out of the blue corner representing the United Kingdom. It's <laughs> for the Czech Republic, presenting Pavel Tichy. 
and across the ring to his opponent. Fighting out of the blue corner tonight, he enters the ring wearing the solid black trunks, holding a professional boxing record. One fight, one victory coming in by way of knockout. He fights for the United Kingdom, presenting El Tolilo, Alan Gray. Okay, gentlemen, we have been over the rules in the dressing room. I don't want to see any rabbit punches. Protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves, back to your crowns, good luck. So here we go, Luke Barnett, middleweights. We have El Talilo, Alan Graves representing Derby of the United Kingdom against the Czech Republic's Pavel Tichy. Both guys never been the distance in their four respective professional contests. So both guys coming out here, hunting an early stoppage. We have Teach coming out as a southpaw. Behind the tight guard and Graves take wasting no time going to work and throwing combination of longer shots and keeping Teach on the rope and El Talio coming out here dominating so far throwing heavy heavy hooks. Yeah, like to see him Teach take a little bit of a breath. Go. Taking a lot on the gloves there, Teach it just popped out there, lands a little left hand and Graves taking a little bit of time there, and working nice faint displayed and drawing that tight guard from Teach who really really reluctant to come out from outside those hands he's feeling the power on his gloves from graves who've been relentless with his onslaught so far yeah, and we saw in, in graves at last outing gives everything in the first but can affect his cardio so he needs to relax a little nice bit here little take his on the inside it's a good option with the the check fight of boxing from the crouch and i like i'm enjoying seeing graves with his with his hand controls and bossing the the southpaw opponent about and yeah teacher just chipping away now at graves's guard and well, we've seen this from Tichi before as well. It absorbs damage very, very well. And, and with the two knockouts, does have power in the hands. The Graves now forcing him back, taking a little bit of a breather, and the distance changes. And, yeah, elects him for the uppercut again, which seems to have a much, much more success than the round punches. And Tichi getting his feet underneath him now and coming outside that guard. But the feints from Graves are, are creating a response. I'd like to see him use them to, to change the angles of his shots. And, yeah, just growing into this round, Graves looked like he tried to come and, and bomb me out there. But... Now just playing and fainting as we get to the halfway point. Yeah, it seems a little bit more relaxed in the centre now, controlling yeah, the range. Nice. Right that uppercut. uppercut. There. And falls over the left hook. And Tichi definitely is one of those, crouches down, like you said, and, and has the, you know, the headphones on with, with that guard. So the uppercut's a fantastic shot selection. Yeah, you see from the referee uh, just accused of Graves of standing on the feet there. A real professional trick. Uh, yeah, you're not G, you're not up. trying. Nice right and through Whee, the middle, right, right up on right the exit. Lands. Oh, a bit one. Unloading here. Oh, oh, the referee's called it off. After two minutes and ten seconds of the first round, Alan Graves improves to 2-0 as a professional, getting the acclaim from his corner. Landing a very good right hand there that set up the rest of that combination to force the referee to stop the action. Yeah, Tichi taking a lot on the gloves, Carl. Not, not, not intelligent defending. Here yeah. we see in the replay. Yeah, the referee obviously wanted to see something that wasn't coming back and uh, Graves unloaded and saw it, so it smelt blood a little bit in the water and and, and elected to, to throw hands and, and get the stoppage that his hard training and dedication deserves. We'll see if they give Alan any opportunity to speak after the fight. Has a pretty incredible story leading into this one to come out with a victory. We'll see if he uh, wants to share that as we hand it over to our MC to make this one official. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Andre Shevelov called a premature close for this bout, bringing a stop to the action at two minutes and four seconds in round number one, declaring your winner by TKO from the United Kingdom, El Tolilo Alan.
we come to the action here live from the agenda with EMD Fight Night number seven. Your next bat for the evening are four, three minutes.